you know, we might not all have pre-shot routines, but we have to get into the hitting position to hit a golf ball. And there's a proper way to do it to allow you to find that consistency in the ball position, the weight distribution, and all the things that allow you to have confidence and trust when you're on the golf course. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends about what we got going on over here, all right? You've heard it a million times. We keep saying it. So here's the deal. And I, I can't tell you how many times I did this little dance step, but I was taught many years ago that in order for you to have consistency with what you're doing, you have to make sure that you have a consistent distance to the ball, a consistent ball position, a consistent weight distribution. So I want to talk to you about weight distribution and distance to the ball. When I come in to hit a shot, I always come in with my trail foot leading the way. So it comes in this way. And when I put it in and I lean over, I feel how my foot grabs the ground. So right there, you can see that that toe box does not look heavy. If I'm back here like this, and I get out here to this ball here, you can see how my heel now looks very light and my toe looks very heavy. What you wanna do is you wanna put this into this spot where your feet are kinda light. So your pressure is actually right in here in sort of that second lace of your shoes and then when you get to there now you bring your trail your lead foot up and you drop the trail foot back so it's a three-step process it goes here let's go face on here Gibbsy it's gonna go here then here and then here okay and I'll talk to you about this stuff here in just a second about the purpose of why I'm stepping the way I step but primarily what I'm trying to do with my first step is find the distance to the ball. So if we go down the line, I'm here, I'm finding my distance to the ball. Now, you would say, well, why don't you just make it the same distance every time you have a six iron in your hand, which is what I have. And the answer to that question is, well, when you have a six iron in your hand, you probably don't have a dead level lie. So you gotta feel this weight distribution that's taking place in your feet. And you gotta make sure you understand, hey, am I on my toes, am I in my heels, or am I in that, that second lace there? So. When you come in, what you also wanna be doing, and this is one of the things that I like to see, is I like to see both hands on the club finding the distance to the ball. And the reason why is, and I see this a lot of times, some people will come in with the golf club in their trail hand, and they'll, they'll just kinda of walk in here like this, and they'll put this like that, look up there, and then they put their hand on. Now, what happens is, is that when my left hand, my lead hand, isn't on the club, my shoulders are open. So my right shoulder is close to that golf ball. And I can go like this and make it even closer. I can go like this and make it farther away. When both of my hands are holding on to the golf club, my distance that my shoulders are from the golf ball will be the same. I'm not changing it. Here, it's one, and it can be more closed or less close. It can be more open or less open. But when I take this trail, this lead hand and come into the trail hand, now all of a sudden, the trail shoulder is going to move away or the lead shoulder is going to get closer and throw weight out onto my toes. And I don't like to see the variance that I, get, that I see with individuals when they come in there one-handed and then start putting the other one on there, okay? Now, I'm more comfortable if you want to come in with the club in your lead hand than with your trail hand. Okay, because the other thing that you have to do is you got to find your grip. So you come in here, you put this in there. You're not even thinking about distance to the ball. You're just getting in here like this. Is the club face square? Yes. Okay, good. Now I'm going to put this in there like that. It can mess up everything. So what I want you to do is I want you to get both of your hands on the club in the hitting position, right? Distance and everything. Now, when you come in, I want you to feel that distance. And I like to kind of bob with it. So when I come in, it's not just one, it's several and then I go okay so I come in I put that in I feel this okay that's that's a good distance I like that and when I do this on three occasions or uh, probably not more than four it's probably three occasions I haven't counted lately but it's probably three times that I'm I'm doing this number here if I get it right the first time I'm not trying to move my foot I'm just trying to keep the same rhythm to to the bob in there so I'm going to go like this Okay, I like that one, now I like this. Now I'm looking up, now I'm gonna get in here, now I get my stuff, now I'm good. Okay, good, I feel my, my weight distribution, my feet, everything is good, and now I go. 
And that's what I'm feeling. So what I want you to feel is this idea of the distance to the ball and how you're finding it in your feet, okay? Now, the second thing that you need to understand here is that the, um, the space that you use with your feet is going gonna, is gonna to predict ball position, and it's also going to predict the angle that your shoulders are at. So in other words, if I get in here like this, and I bring this foot up here like that, which let's just say it's two club heads, and I drop this way back like this, now my ball position is going to be really far forward. That would be what I would do with a driver. So what I try to do when I'm, when I'm taking these steps, not just getting that distance to the ball, but also where the ball position is going to be in my stance, which is really in my shoulders, is with a six iron, I'm just dropping back there. With a driver, I'm going to drop back there. But the first step that I take with my, with my left foot, my lead foot, is always the same distance. I'm always bringing my foot in just behind the golf ball. Spent a lot of time learning and working on this. That foot is coming in just behind the golf ball so that this foot, when it comes up, is always the same distance. It's about two club heads for me. And then I'm gonna drop it back depending upon the club itself. So if I'm gonna go wedge, I'm gonna go to there. If I'm gonna go to... Six iron, I'm going to go there. If I'm going to go to driver, I'm going to go there. And then if I want to flare out, then I might flare out. But all of that is happening after I've established the distance to the ball and the position of the ball. So come in here like this. I got six iron. I'm going to hit it over there. Come in there. I got my stance. Now that ball position, if you look at me, it's just forward of the middle. I kind of like that ball position with uh, six iron to be right around my left eye. So I got it around left eye. Now I'm good. Now I'm feeling my weight is excellent in my feet here, and now it's just swing. And what happens is, is that I'm gonna get a golf ball that's gonna come out of the center of the club face. I, I don't know about alignment, what I did with my alignment on that, I mean, my, my aim on that one, my alignment was really good, but I, I was a little right of that target, so chances are that I was aiming a little bit to the right of where I would normally aim. Because I normally aim a little bit to the left, and that will sometimes, um, if we ever get a chance to play together, which probably isn't going to happen, but regardless, it'll look like my ball position is quite a bit more forward than, uh, it, might, than it really is because I, I play a little bit open. All right, let me do this one more time for you so you get this. So you've got the golf club. It's held in your hands in the hitting position. You're bobbing in. So you feel that in your feet. Square it up like that. Drop that trail foot. Find that target. Now we're good. Now we're ready to go. My distance to the ball is correct. My ball position is correct. I'm now in a little bit more open position there. I can see it in the screen. So now it looks like that ball is a little bit more forward. It's not, but now this allows me to get this golf ball to start a little to the left and then fade back to the right-hand side, which is the shot that I like to hit, and that's the shot that I just hit right there, actually tracking right down the chimney, just like Santa Claus. You wanna make sure that you have consistency in your game. You gotta find that in your distance to the ball. You gotta find that in the ball position in your feet. And the way you do that is teach yourself this little dance step, this little dance step. Whether you call it a pre-shot routine or not, it doesn't matter to me, but you've gotta have a little dance step here so that you know exactly how far away from the golf ball that you need to be. You find that in your feet, you feel it in the weight distribution, and then you work on the steps to find the ball position. Do all that, and you're going to have that consistency that you're longing for. To improve all parts of your game, subscribe to my channel and click the link below.